Hello, everyone. Happy Sunday. Welcome to another episode of Sports News Flash at 12. I am your Sports Weekend anchor, Miguel Mike Medina. As you can see, I'm decided to wear comfortable clothes today. I have the SNF 12 hoodie, as you can see. And um, let's get started because there's a lot that I have to share with you guys. Starting with um, Friday's NBA highlights, Sacramento Kings versus Golden State Warriors, game six. Will Sacramento push the series to game six or will the Warriors close it out at home? The Kings beat Golden State at their old game and it happened on the road. Malik Monk had 28 points with six rebounds. De'Aaron Fox had 26 points with 11 assists. The Kings were, were lights out from downtown. Like I said, the Beagle is staying at their own game. The Kings won 118 to 99. There will be a game seven that will be played today on Sunday. Warriors, they had a chance to come back and rally, especially after Sabonis fouled out, but the Kings shooting was absolutely phenomenal. The Memphis Grizzlies were looking to try to send the series back to Memphis for game seven, but that did not happen. The Lakers dominated the Grizzlies. D'Angelo Russell led the Lakers with 31 points. You heard right. Russell led the Lakers with 31 points. Anthony Davis added 14 points and five blocks. The Lakers in total had 15 team blocks in this game. They shot 53% from the field and made 80% of their free throws. Lakers are looking dangerous so far. Rob Pelenka has done a great job during the trade deadline. This team is completely different. Um, ever since after the All-Star break, they've just been phenomenal. They're looking very dangerous right now in this postseason. As for the Memphis Grizzlies, it's a very disappointing season. I'm disgusted by them. From now on, they should stop trash talking and let their game do the talking. They haven't been to the finals, they haven't won anything, so they need to stop talking like they have won something. Now, we're gonna go off to hockey. And boy, oh boy, Friday and Saturday night has been unbelievable. Starting with the Boston Bruins and Florida Panthers. The Bruins and Panthers, they had an unbelievable third period in game six. Both teams combined for seven goals, which happened in the third period, and both teams combined for five power play goals in this game. Panthers won seven to five to force a game seven, which will be on Sunday night. The Carolina Hurricanes send the New York Islanders home after Paul Stadsny scored the game-winning goal, which they won two to one. Sorokin, he played a great game. You feel for him, but it just wasn't his time. Dallas Stars eliminated the Minnesota Wild on the road with a two to one win in game six. Maxi Domi and Mason Marchman scored a goal and an assist for the Stars. Their heartbeat, Joe Pavelski, missed his fifth consecutive game due to concussion protocol. So we still need to find out more if he will be available for the next round or not. The Colorado Avalanche got a gutsy road win in Seattle. The Kraken is the first team in NHL history to score first in each of the first six games of the playoffs. Miko Rantanen, who's been sensational for Colorado, he became the second fastest active player to reach 40 points in the playoffs. Saturday's matchups, oh man, oh man. Every team that I wanted to win on Saturday night ended up winning. The first one, let's talk about Devils versus Rangers. Rangers, their backs are against the wall. They have been 0 for 10 in power play situations from games three to five, but now they're back at home for game six. 
Will they answer the bell or will the Devils close it out on the road? The Rangers offense finally woke up. Chris Kreider had a goal and two assists. The Rangers won 5-2 and there will be a Game 7 at Prudential Center on Monday. It will be the third time in their playoff history they will play a Game 7. Rangers won the matchups in 1992 and 1994. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toronto Maple Leafs have done it. The drought is finally over. John Tavares, who's part of the Maple Leafs core four, scored the game-winning goal in overtime to send the Maple Leafs to the next round. The Maple Leafs won all three road games at a Emily Arena in overtime. It's been a long time coming. Party like it's 2004. Maple Leafs will play the winner of the Bruins and Panthers series. And last but not least, Edmonton Oilers, Los Angeles Kings. Kaylor Yamasoto scored the go-ahead goal with 3-0-3 remaining, and the Edmonton Oilers eliminated the LA Kings with a 5-4 win in Game 6. Stuart Skinner made 40 saves for the Oilers. Leon Dreisaitl had a goal in this game. He's been incredible in the series for Edmonton. Edmonton will play the Vegas Golden Knights. That's going to be a fun match to watch. And by the way, the Kings have not won a series in four playoff appearances since winning the Stanley Cup in 2014. We're going to go into this commercial. When we get back, we're going to talk some baseball and some wrestling. So we'll be back after this. Welcome back to Sports News Flash at 12. So ESPN reporter Marley Rivera fi is fired after calling another reporter a effing cunt while trying to interview Aaron Judge. And this was captured on video. ESPN, as you guys know, is owned by Disney. So you know that's not going to sit well with them. Also, there's been some reports that she was part of two other inc incidents with other female reporters in which she called one reporter a white B-I-T-C-H and the other reporter a fake Hispanic. So ugh, it hasn't been a quite pleasant week for Marley. And um, and this incident that took place where she called another reporter a effing cunt, this happened on April 18th when the Yankees took on the Angels. The San Diego Padres and San Francisco Giants, they're currently playing a two-game series this weekend at Mexico City. Um, the Padres are not off to a great start. So I'll say this, we shouldn't be panicking. We shouldn't get worried. It's early on the season. Juan Soto, Manny Machado, they will get things going. They got, obviously, Fernando Tatini, Fernando Tatis Jr. back, and he's been producing. The starting rotation, they will come through at some point. So we shouldn't hit the panic meter just yet. It's a long season. They're 28 games in, so let's pump the brakes a little. The Padres are 14 and 14 at the 500 mark. So, yes, they are favorites to win the NL West because of all the additions that they have made. But, you know, patience is a virtue. WWE News, Triple H made an announcement last Monday on Raw that he will bring back the World Heavyweight Championship. A new champion will be crowned at the WWE Night of Champions on May 27th, 2023 in Saudi Arabia. I love when WWE make events at Saudi Arabia. So I'm looking forward to that. The WWE draft, you know, is here. So here are the draft picks starting with Raw. Number one, Cody Rhodes. Number two, Becky Lynch. Number three, Imperium. Number four, Matt Riddle. Number five, Drew McIntyre. Number six, The Miz. 
Number seven, Shinzuk Namarik and Nakamira. I think that's how you pronounce it. And number eight, NXT's women's champion, Indy Hartwell. As for SmackDown, number one, Roman Reigns, Solo Sikora, and Paul Heyman. Number two, Bianca Blair. Number three, The Street Profits. Number four, Edge. Number five, Bobby Lashley. Number six, The OC. Number seven, Damage. And number eight, Alba Fry and Isla Dawn. So those are the draft picks for the uh, for the draft for Raw and SmackDown. We're gonna go into this commercial when we get back. It's gonna be time for Triple M's quick take and the girls' top performances of the weekend. We'll be back after this. <music> Yes, it's Miguel Triple M's quick takes. And for this one, talk real quick about Gianna's eloquent post-game interview. Wow, I have never seen an NBA player handle a media member with such a beautiful response to a question that they found ludicrous. And that reporter asked Giannis, do you consider this season a failure? And Giannis was clearly agitated by that, but it's the way he defined, in his opinion, um, of how he viewed the season. Giannis does not view the Bucks season a failure. He, in his mind, is stepping stones to get to the ultimate goal. He went on to explain, he made a perfect um, example about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan didn't win his first seven seasons in the NBA. And he doesn't consider that failure. It's just that there were levels to get to that championship goal. So not everyone will agree with Giannis's point, but I personally love that. I had no problem with what he had to say. I feel that because winning is not easy. Winning a title is not easy. And a lot of people make it seem, especially sports media, who, who haven't, there's a lot of people in sports media who never play basketball who've never played sports in their life, they make it seem like if it's easy to win a championship, it's not. Winning is hard to do. Giannis has won a title in 2021 with the Bucks, and he's trying to explain to people, you can't win every single year. There's gonna be other teams that will be better. There'll be other teams that will make better adjustments. And he feels that with this team, they need to get better, but he doesn't consider this season a failure because they had the best record and the number one seed. So I love the way he explained that. So wrap up this episode, it's time for Miguel's top performances of the weekend. So here are my picks of who performed amazingly well this weekend in all sports. Well, that does it for this episode of Sports News Flash at 12. If you, if you guys have any questions, you can email me, which will be right after this. Um, Sports News Flash at 12 at gmail.com. Enjoy today's games. We have game seven in hockey. We have um, some basketball, Miami Heat versus New York Knicks, bringing back that 90s um, classic um, playoff matchup. So I'm looking forward to that. And, and some baseball as well. So we have a lot of good um, sporting matchups going on today. So enjoy your Sunday. God bless you all. Always have God in your heart. Be safe. And I'll be seeing you guys in probably in two weeks because I feel like next Sunday is Mother's Day. So yeah, I'll see you guys in two weeks. <laughs>